Given the range of economic and social issues confronting the nation, opposition Senator Dominic Fede has questioned why the PA administration is placing so much focus on the opposition leader, Alan Chastain, instead of these issues. The process by which the Mikusav MP was summoned to appear before the Privileges Committee, he says, is a sham and disgraces the country's parliamentary procedures. He believes the whole matter could have been handled differently. Look, listen, if you are a member of the House, and you want to prove to the public that someone said your visa was more than it is? Is it three days, four days, five days? Nobody really cares. Just come out to the public, come to the press and say that Alan Chastney um, misled you because my, and show the public your visa. That solves the problem. We don't need to go to a, discipli a, 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 a privileges committee for all of this. This is, this is absolute nonsense. It's a matter of um, one being held account to um, what, it, what statements being made, um, whether it be um, false or, or odd. Yeah, but in, it, is, you, it is for you to refute it. So it is for me to be held accountable. But uh, you need to come out and substantiate with your own documents to show that what I have said about you is, is an untruth. That's what happens in democratic environments you don't use super majorities in the parliament i mean 15 guys are there as if they're attempting to kill one man it's clear to all of st lucia why are they so afraid of alan chastney senator ferropolis believes the herrings are being used to silence the opposition leader whom they see as a formidable political rival we have also seen a clear obsession with the leader of the opposition honorable alan chastney and we have to ask why, why the obsession, why the preoccupation? Even some of the very same supporters of the, the Labour Party have expressed and continue to express disgust with this obsessive preoccupation with Alan Chastney. You've won the election. It's time to govern. Govern the country. The people of St. Lucia want better. They voted for better. And rather than focusing so much attention on one man, one man whom they know very well is what St. Lucia needs at the, at the moment. This man who is a true leader, a visionary. St. Lucians are already clamoring for better. They are clamoring for a change and they want him back. The whole matter, she says, makes a mockery of the democratic process with clear indication of unfairness and violation of the principles of natural justice.